Hi, welcome back to the next lesson of an intro to Duxbury. And I just wanted to start here where our we are save we've saved our file last time. And if you look here under our saved documents, we have a DBT with P and then a little DBT with a B and another one with a B. So the print, so the P, if I click on there, it'll open our saved document. And remember we talked about last time, this was our print version. So the P says, she will show you that it's for the print. We'll cancel out that one. And we'll go to the second version with the B, and that's our Braille copy, okay? So, but what we're gonna do today, just so I show you where, how things are saved, but we're gonna go to a new document, and I could do Control N, but I want you to see my, um, the, my keystroke, so I'm just going to click, and again, we're gonna select English UEB Bana, and so now we have a new document. I'm gonna get rid of that one in the back. I'm gonna get rid of that one in the back. No, oh, sorry. I wanna make this a little bit bigger. And if you remember, one of the things I said in the very first time that I was shown how to use Duxbury, I was told to just take a block text from a Word document or any print, you know, typing software and just copy and paste. So here I have a Word document and I'm just going to highlight that paragraph. I'm going to use Control C to copy. And then I'm going to come over here to my Duxbury and I'm just going to Control V and it dumped it as text. Now if you, I'm going to move this back real quick. If you notice, this has formatting. There's indentation, there's space, there's line spacing, but when I just take the block of text into Duxbury, those things haven't remained the same. And you can even see, like we kind of have to scroll across to see all of it. So one thing I'm going to show us this time is the layout function. And I'm going to select the text again. And I'm going to go to layout. Now layout, that tab has apply style, apply last style, style level plus, style level minus, join styles, join lines, transition code. So if I oops, wanted zero, grade zero, grade one, grade two, it still calls them grades instead of contracted or uncontracted. CBC Spanish text or LIFG text. It has character codes, letter sign, termination sign, hard space and group, line codes. It'll give us a new line, skip line, suppress skip line, centering, flush right, flush right with a leader, tab, single spacing, double spacing, new paragraph. Give us left margin, where we're going to start that left margin, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 13. Right margin, is it going to be 0 to 6? Run over offset, it'll tell you that. Math codes, lots of math codes. And when we do the, the video on technical UAB, I'll get more into that. We have page, we have page codes, new page, new reference page, block protect, vertical centering, set page numbers, headers and footers, generate a table of contents, picture if we want to add, and then a code list. Okay, but what we're going to do is come up to apply style. And we have this window that pops up. And these are all the different styles of text that we can use and we can format. So it has I'm going to scroll through here real quick. There are lots and lots of ones for us to choose from. But the one we're going to use this time is we need, I would like to start in the third cell. So I can scroll down. Oops. And highlight 3-1. This is going to show that the first line 
is going to start in cell three, but all remaining runover lines are going to start in one. So I'll just do, okay. And now you see that we have it indented just like the formatting that it came from. And I didn't have to go through, if this was multiple paragraphs, I wouldn't have to go through each line and tab over. I could just select the entire passage and shift my lines. So just in case if I wanted to do the opposite and I wanted, let's say I wanted everything to start in the first line, let's see. If I wanted to start in cell one, but everything else start in cell three, I can do that. Now it's formatted to show me that, but we're going to go back. To three one. Okay. So that was part of doing simple formatting. Also, if I do view, I can look at the codes. The codes are going to make more sense later because there are so many codes that we can use to make our life easier when we're doing when we're transcribing Braille. But if you see this code, it's showing you 3-1. And then here it shows backslash 3-1. So this is where it's going to start and this is where it's going to end. So say if I had different formatting throughout but I can view the codes. I'm going to take off codes. Okay, and just like we did before, we are going to file and we're going to translate. And this translates this entire pa paragraph into Braille for me. Again, along the bottom in the yellow, it says the walk back to the quarters from Sandrine's was, go to the next line, too short. Chicote, in case you are a Star Trek fan, Voyager, that's where this is from, a fan fiction. He found he enjoyed. So each line shows the same line from the the printed text. And if there were, and I would check to make sure that everything was the way it was supposed to be. And then I would, if I needed to save it to send to someone or if I needed to emboss it. But right now we're going to save. And this time, we're going to save, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to bring that up a little bit, whoops, as a refreshable braille. So, level of comfort, this is a story I wrote, so, and I can save that and someone can read this on their refreshable braille. Again, I hope this lesson was helpful. We learned how to find a saved document. We learned how to open a new document again, copy and paste and format a easy, quick format of one paragraph. Um, and then we saved and we saved it as a refreshable Braille file. So again, if this was helpful information, please give it a thumbs up, share it if you'd like to on social media or in different, um, any other forms so somebody else can learn, as well as subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so every time we have new content, you won't miss a thing. Have a great night.